this is Daddy and welcome to this update video on the tropics and so in this video we're going to be talking about three disturbances that we have to pay attention to across the North Atlantic Basin and so before I go into details Alright, so let us get start things with the one that is highlighted in yellow. So this is a newly identified area uh, where we could have some development taking place next week. So that low pressure system or that wave has not yet emerged off the coast of Africa. But once it does so, it is expected to have a chance to develop. And the more conditions are going to be likely ahead of development, then we will have this chance gradually increasing. And so it's possible that we could have that system that is going to be moving off the coast of Africa developing and making its way westward so we have to watch this because it might be a threat to probably the Caribbean the Bahamas or it can even go out to sea so we have to wait and see what's going to happen because a lot of possibilities are on the table at this time and so now let's go on to our other disturbance. So this is Invest 93L and this is located just off the coast of Africa and as you're seeing it still has a high 70% chance to develop through the next 5 days and it also has a 50% chance through the next 48 hours. And so we're expecting that this is going to be moving generally westward and it is going to be bringing some inclement weather conditions to portions of the Cabo Verde Islands. So it is possible that we could definitely have some development taking place off the system here but the chance has been stagnant at 70% for a little while now and uh, some unfavorable conditions are ahead of it so we could have some development of this but as of now nothing major is anticipated of this disturbance here and so looking at the satellite imagery of it here we have it and we see this small cluster of showing thunderstorm activity so most of the Cabo Verde Islands will be feeling some impacts from the system as it makes its way by so fortunately it is not a strong disturbance and so now let's move on to our final disturbance which is located just over southern Mexico and is about to merge into the Gulf and so looking at the five day else look we're seeing here that this is given a high 80% chance to develop into a tropical cyclone during the next five days so the chance has surpassed the one that is out in the Atlantic so this is designated as invest 94 L and its formation chance has surpassed 93 L and so if we have this disturbance developing then it is going to be occurring the name Nicholas which is the next name to be used for this hurricane season and if we also have 93 L developing then it's is going to become Odette and by more of an extent if we have that new area of disturbed weather having a developing cyclone then that will occur the name Peter but that is if we have the other two disturbances becoming named storms and so it is expected to make its way generally northward up to the northwestern Gulf Coast and so if you're in Texas I would even say Mexico as well and possibly Louis Louisiana you want to keep an eye on this because if we're going to be having favorable conditions persistent in the Gulf of Mexico and this system remaining there for a while then we could have some significant development so even though that is not really anticipated as of right now it doesn't even take a strong tropical cyclone to result in some very devastating impacts guys so please take necessary precautions and stay safe of course I'm going to be keeping you updated as time goes by so now let's look at it on satellite and here we have it so we see that we have quite a bit of shower thunderstorm activity being widespread across Central America so some areas are probably experiencing some rainfall or just some cloudy skies right now as a result of this disturbance but we're going to be having it looking a lot better and getting in shape once it makes its way into the warm ocean waters of the gulf and so now let's take a look at how conducive conditions are so we'll be looking at the ocean temperature map and the wind shear map and so of course ocean temperatures are very favorable and right where we will be having the system move in is the warmest spot of the Gulf of Mexico just going up to the coast of Texas Louisiana right there right in that region is where we have the warmest ocean temperatures and so it is likely that because it is basically the fuel for it we will have some development taking place of this disturbance but as we go on to the wind shear map here the different colors show different shear intensities so we have the green that means favorable the yellow means neutral and the red means unfavorable so we have some unfavorable shear uh, just in the southern gulf of mexico or the bay of campeche but once the system makes its way northward conditions will get increasingly favorable so i wouldn't even want to think about what would really be happening 
if we had conditions being completely favorable in the Gulf like how it was with Ida earlier and so we have to wait and see what's going to be the eventual outcome let's hope that nothing crazy happens with this disturbance there is no significant rapid intensification because the Gulf Coast has seen quite a few tropical cyclones this year already but in terms of the rest of the basin the Caribbean is not so favorable right now and some areas out in the mid-development region are not so favorable as well we see some unfavorable shear that is setting in but of course as time goes by conditions are likely to become more and more conducive and so now let's take a look at what two of our model runs are showing in terms of the system so we'll be looking at the gfs and the euro so first up is the gfs and so this is a map showing the isobars which are lines of equal pressure which are the black lines and when you see them being in a circular manner with the pressure being below 10 13 millibars that is a low pressure system and can be our tropical cyclone so that is what we're looking for here and so this is by monday the 13th of the month and so so we see that we have invest 93l being west of the cabo Verde islands and it is a 1009 millibar low pressure system and as we go over into the gulf we don't see 94l becoming anything significant just yet so let's go further out and this is to thursday the 16th of september so gfs is showing that we'll have 94l making its way into southern texas and uh, not showing much becoming of 93 L most likely is encountering some of that unfavorable wind shear but take a look to the southeast of 94L so it's looking as though we'll be having some development taking place down there which is most likely that newly identified area that I showed you earlier that is highlighted in yellow and also up to the Bahamas area right there we have a 1010 millibar low pressure system so that is potentially a tropical cyclone trying to develop so a lot of activity uh, we have the GFS showing by the middle part of this month and so let's go to Monday the 20th of September and so we see here that we have that system that was located in the vicinity of the Bahamas making its way up to the northeast and we also have a 994 millibar low pressure system out in the Atlantic uh, west well to the west of the the windward islands so this is definitely a tropical cyclone and then as we head further out fortunately we're seeing it starting to make a turn to the northwest the pressure has dropped to 979 millibars and when we have a decrease in pressure it means that the system is stronger so it's looking as though it's going to be a fish storm as what is shown here by the gfs and the pressure the pressure has dropped some more by the 27th of the month going down to 969 millibars so that's potentially a hurricane at that point and so that is what the gfs is showing and it is important to realize that this is just a prediction and it doesn't necessarily have to be what eventually happens with our systems so let's go on to the euro model and so this is by monday the 13th of the month and so here it has 93 l being near to the cabo verde islands and it is showing that that gulf disturbance 94 l is starting to get in shape so as we head to saturday however of that week we're seeing here that we don't have much becoming of both of those invests but it is definitely agreeing with gfs that we will have development taking place afterwards again most likely from that newly identified area of disturbed weather where development is possible so we're seeing here that this is most likely a strong tropical storm at this point and going further out to tuesday the 21st of the month euro is showing that the system is going to be north of the eastern caribbean so this is going to be quite interesting because euro is showing a track that is more south than what gfs is showing gfs is showing that's going to be moving westward for a while and then making its way up to the northwest and curving out to sea while we have your showing it making its way westward and then slightly turning up to the northwest moving just north of the caribbean so it's going to be interesting to see what's going to be the eventual outcome with that system if we do have development of it taking place and as of right now we just have to hope that things don't get too crazy but regardless we're in the peak of the hurricane season and a lot of Activity is anticipated as we head to the latter part of this month and even into next month and so guys that is it for this update video on the tropics and so if you found it to be quite informative please give a thumbs up and you can also share your thoughts with me in the comments or ask a question i will try to respond as best as and as soon as i can and remember to always be otherwise and i will keep you updated as time goes by